trip is divided in two parts. And on the first part, we go out and build walls um, on farms to protect water infrastructures such as um, wind pump or water tanks, water pipes, you know, diesel pumps. And um, we get all the materials locally and we only provide them with cement. Mm -hmm. And then we come there for five days and we build a wall. I think it's probably the most important part of the organization. It is the part that is actually going to help the farmers and stop them from killing the elephants. And at the same time, as we are building walls, we are bringing down barriers, the barrier that stops people from living with elephants. Um, and I think that's the most beautiful part of the organization. The second week, which we are on now, is focused more on the, on the elephants, so less on the people mm -hmm. and more on the elephants, to know the elephants better, um, mm -hmm. to know where they go, what mm -hmm. they do, um, to collect a lot of information about them, take pictures for ID book, collect dung, dung for DNA samples. Mm -hmm. And um, after four days of tracking elephants, we go back to the camp and then I just process everything. The, the work that we do, there's a seven year waiting list so, and also the, the, the wall that we would have built, or the wall that we did build, I think would have cost the, that community thousands of pounds to, to have do, done themselves. So, um, but it is genuinely, you do feel like you're doing something worthwhile. Uh, so elephant patrol, you, you go to different locations each night as you follow the elephants? Yes, I mean, I have no idea what direction we've driven in the last day and a half. I'm absolutely clueless. But uh, yeah, we've been on the go pretty much non-stop for the past day and a half just tracking elephants and we've seen I think three herds in the last three days right, okay. which has been great we like to see these wild elephants um, come up to you and we had one of them just playing with the front bumper of our car at one point so yeah it's it's um, it's incredible to see them up close. It was very fun this year to finish the wall because last year we, we started the wall. Mm -hmm. so, so now to see the, the finished project, yeah. This big female from H2 herd uh, came up and did just had a big like, <laughs> did it again, got a bit closer. <laughs> and then like gave me a little peck on the arm yeah. and then went on just like checking out who I was. Um, <laughs> so that was amazing. And seeing the baby elephants like today. Yeah, day old baby elephants. Yeah, um, amazing. Yeah, and then seeing mud bathing as well, yeah. it's very cool. Yeah. And actually we've had them trumpet a few times, mm -hmm. which you don't usually do because it's more of a warning. Okay. But at one point in the reeds, one of their little ones, we think, um, but maybe one of the five-year-olds had wandered off a bit, so the mum was just going mental trying to get, get back a little, a little boy. <laughs>